Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the ceremonial procession and remain standing for the national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Guest of honor, Mr. Neil Kian Hong, Group Chief Executive Officer, SMRT Corporation Limited. Professor Tan Tiam Sun, President, SIT. Senior Management and Faculty Members, SIT. Donors, industry partners, distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, and all who are watching the live streaming of the ceremony, welcome to graduation 2021. Today, we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. Our guest of honor this morning is Mr. Neo Kien Hong, Group Chief Executive Officer, SMRT Corporation Limited. Mr. Neil will now deliver the graduation address. Mr. Neil, please. Good morning. Professor Tan Tiam Soon, President, SIT. Graduating class of 2021, parents, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to be invited to speak to you. Today marks an important day in your lives and the beginning of a journey. And of course, to get here to this day is an achievement, especially in the COVID situation in and of itself. And I applaud you. Congratulations.
Now is an exciting time to enter the workforce as, uh, and also especially as engineers. Singapore is now undergoing a period of urban renewal. In the past, it was urban redevelopment, but now it's urban renewal. In our early years, we furiously built a home for ourselves and find jobs for our people. More than 50 years on, we now find ourselves going through another time of upgrading. This time, driven by an aspiration of a world-class city, there's a smart nation and a digital society. And in an attractive, competitive location that has a strong sense of environmental sustainability, social inclusivity, and strong governance. The Smart Nation Initiative started seven years ago, and it's not purely about digitalizing our lives, but neighborhoods, schools, and industries are also going digital. It's about having Technology is so seamlessly integrated in our lives that we can lead more enriched lives, more time to learn, seek new knowledge, experiment, innovate, and create value. So can our education institutions produce the people that we need in transforming our nation? And here, SIT has a unique proposition. Its applied education model focuses on integrating work and study, connecting academic knowledge and skills with real-world applications in industry. This philosophy is central to SIT's admission process, where students are interviewed to better understand them and ensure they'll be a good fit for the programs they've applied for. President Tan Tiam Soon and his staff have done a great job in meeting the needs of society and industry by making SIT an, a, a university of applied learning. With over 40 undergraduate and postgraduate degree programs, some offered jointly with overseas universities partners, SIT has grown significantly since its inception in 2010. And its en enrollments increasing year on year from 4,000 in 2014 to over 8,200 currently. I was just told that it's past 9,000 now. We are heartened to see many of you graduating and finding meaningful jobs. This shows that while SIT is a young university, its graduates continue to be well recognized by the industry and enjoy high employability and competitive salaries. As a company, SMRT has certainly benefited. We have employed 17 graduates from various fields since 2018, and we have four of you graduating here today. One of our first SIT hires is Vicky Ho. She did her work study program with SMRT's rolling stock team, and she now manages the North-South East-West Line Electrical System Servicing as part of our newly set up Component Service Centre. Her work ensures that components on our trains work well, which is immensely important for service and reliability. And our trains now in Singapore are running at more than 1 million MKBF, among the top three metros in the world. With a combination of technical, collaborative and project management skills and the spirit of continuous learning, Vicky continues to oversee the move to streamline our workshops as part of the team that implemented safe man safety management measures on our trains. The synergies we found with uh, SIT go beyond finding excellent engineers. We're able to introduce workplace learning through a competency-based workplace learning pathway to SIT. This allows our staff to up upskill and apply what they have learned directly to their daily work. It offered us a unique pathway to equip our staff with new skills without taking them away from daily operations and maintenance they needed to perform to keep our trains and buses running smoothly. Rachel Low and you worked on intelligent lighting for smart cities with SP Group which involved designing smart lighting and solar panels for SIT's future campus in Pongo. The impact of SIT's work-study program had on her was tremendous. 
And so she decided to continue her work on intelligent lighting for smart cities through a Master of Science in Electrical and Electronic Engineering with SIT. Noor Safara Pinte Zaharuddin picked up both technical and project management skills during her program. At Alpha Tech Vestasia, she evaluated the effectiveness of a passive displacement ventilation system to cool a room. PDV systems are more sustainable than air conditioning and find ways to integrate them into building systems will go a long way to boost the efficiency of these buildings. Teng Wei Chiang, Jerome, did his program at Becca Carter Hollings and Ferner, where he helped to, with the design and construction works of SIT's future campus in Pongo. Uh, he's what you call truly a citizen, SIT, citizen giving back to his alma mater and society. Mohammad Najib bin Zawawi worked with us as SIT for his program and his final year proje design project. He was inspired by his late mother, who reminded him to always stay grounded and have the spirit of giving. For his final year project, he, desi he designed a cooling vest for SMRT staff who work in hot and humid conditions on train tracks, especially in tunnels, and designed a remote point monitoring camera system for the Thompson East Coast Line during his program. He picked up technical and management level skills and embraced the spirit of learning, unlearning, and relearning. I look forward to seeing him at the Thompson East Coast Line, who is a project engineer with the rolling stock department. As you leave this hall and embark on your new careers, this is a wonderful beginning. I thought I would just share some observations from my experiences with you. First, we must be leaders with values, leading organizations that are continually learning and improving. Much effort for the first 10 to 12 years of education that we can see in Singapore, a lot of investments. But school is just a foundation of education. The real school is at the workplace. And that's the reason why SMRT and SIT work together to facilitate workplace learning. It is a schoolhouse integrated into the workplace and your education continues. With SIT, you have also programs to nurture the culture of continuous improvement called Kaizen, daily improvements. Second, always nurture your curiosity and perseverance. When I was in education ministry, we, I noted that there was a study to determine what are the characteristics that will determine uh, whether people will be successful uh, when at work, many years after their education. And it was found that curiosity and perseverance stood out. So to do well as engineers, you should be naturally curious of the world around you. You dive into the systems and processes around you, appreciate how they work, why they exist, and discover new ways to make them better. Of course, there will also be challenges, you must, but you must persevere. Do not give up when you fail the first time round, and you'll continue to discover, especially in the job of urban renewal. Everyone knows that greenfield work is hard, but brownfield work is even more challenging. And it is worth striving because we want to build a world-class city. The curiosity and perseverance will also drive us to grow in a VUCA world, a volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous world. Thirdly, we must have a sense of service, develop an acute sense of awareness and deep empathy towards people, ground ourselves in the communities that we serve, get close to them, listen, observe, find our needs, endeavour to feel them, so that when you move forward, they move forward with you too. Knowing who we want to serve is a great reservoir for energy to tap on. The world today is more connected than it has ever been, and industries are quickly learning that success comes more from collaborations 
than just competition. So we have to work well with one another. If we keep our eyes on who we are serving and who we should be working together and leveraging the ecosystems, we'll be able to address the needs of our nation and its people. In conclusion, it's a great time to graduate as engineers. Singapore needs more engineers than ever and be part of organisations that are continuously learning and improving. Stay curious and persevere in what you do. Know your purpose and know that you're contributing to building the next generation Singapore. A Singapore that is world-class, competitive and sustainable. We should also take this opportunity to reflect on the people, which is the family, the faculty, the friends who have guided, shaped and supported you all this way, and also celebrate this moment with them. I wish you every success and look forward to the positive impact that you'll make in society. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Neo. Professor Tan Jam Soon, President, SIT, will now present the prizes and certificates to the graduates. Professor Tan, please. May I present the graduates of whom the Master of Science in Chemical Engineering degree has earlier been conferred. Edward Koo Kim Wee. Lan Bin Kamis. This concludes the presentation of graduates from the Master of Science in Chemical Engineering. May I present the graduates of whom the Master of Science in Electrical and Electronic Engineering degree has earlier been conferred. Andy Chua Yi Chuang. <clears throat> Benjamin Wing Liang Zhe. Pham Jia Wei. Go Xuan Le. Lo En Yi, Rachel. Marcella Binti Raffier. <clears throat> Muhammad Azar bin Abdul Karim. <clears throat> Muhammad, Muhammad Fadil bin Muhammad Syed. Muhammad Faiz bin Jamil. <clears throat> Ong Boon Hao, Raymond. <clears throat> this concludes the presentation of graduates from the Master of Science in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. May I present the graduates of whom both master's and bachelor degrees have been earlier being conferred. Master of Engineering Technology in Sustainable Infrastructure Engineering, Building Services, henceforth referred as SIE Building Services in this ceremony, and Bachelor of Engineering in SIE Building Services. 
recipient of the Singapore Green Building Outstanding Student Award in SIE Building Services, Teng Wei Chiang, Jerome. Recipient of the Sprinkler Fire System Book Prize in Fire Engineering Fundamentals, Kung Jun Hui Jason. <laughs> Casey Chong Zi Kang. <laughs> Chai Yong Jin. Chen Hong Yu, <laughs> Chong En Si Samuel, <laughs> Chong Kai Jie Winfred. Lena Wu Wan Tian, <clears throat> Go Yu Fong Erwin, <clears throat> Ho Shu Han. Jared Chin Jin Yen, <clears throat> Lim Si Yun, Angelin, <clears throat> Lionel Lee Chen Jin. Shi Lei, <clears throat> Xin Ming Wei, Reina, <clears throat> Tio Tan Yuan, Presenting the graduates of whom Master of Engineering Technology in SIE Building Services has earlier been conferred. Teo Wei Feng. <clears throat> this concludes the presentation of graduates from the Master of Engineering Technology in SIE Building Services. May I present the graduates of whom Master and Bachelor degrees have earlier been conferred. Master of Engineering Technology in Sustainable Infrastructure Engineering Land, henceforth referred as SIE Land in this ceremony, and the Bachelor of Engineering in SIE Land. Li Wan Hao. <clears throat> Pua Ching Kin, Turek. Presenting the graduates of whom Master of Engineering Technology in SIE Land degree has earlier been conferred. Tan Jin Lin, Johnny. <clears throat> this concludes the presentation of graduates from the Master of Engineering Technology in SIE Land. May I present the graduates of whom the Bachelor of Engineering in SIE Building Services has earlier been conferred. Aloysius Wong Wei Jin. <clears throat> Bei Xiong Wei. <clears throat> Chai Jin He.
Then it's Chu Chiala. Divya, daughter of Tanaskaran. Jason J. Wayson. John D. Divila Zampata. Kenneth Chan. Kuni Kong. Kok Zi Ling. Lai Ming Wei. Lakshmi, daughter of Natarajan. Li Wen Yi, Vivaldi. Liao Hui Min. Lim Jia Hua, Lim Mei Jian, Lim Wen Song. Lo Sok Fong, Mindy Ong, Ng Jia Min, Felicia, Noh Safara Binti Zaharuddin. Ong Jian Chen. Ong Zhen An. Ong Zi Ri. Peng Li Ting. Po Jin Jie. Chiu Yi Xiong. Ramvin Tan Chai Hong. Shemin Tan Shi Ying. Xia Ming Liang. Siti No Amira Binti Abdul Rahman. Tokenwi. Wang Jinpeng. Xie Tingting. Ting. 
Yang Sien Yui, Josiah. <clears throat> this concludes the presentation of graduates from the Bachelor of Engineering in SIE Building Services. May I present the graduates of whom the Bachelor of Engineering in SIE Land degree has earlier been conferred. Recipient of the Land Transport Authority Best Final Year SIE Land Student Award, Muhammad Farid Zwan bin Pauzan. <clears throat> Recipient of the SBS Transit Outstanding Student Award in IWS fee in SIE Land and the SMRT Outstanding Student Award in SIE Land, Tan Ping Jin Lewis. Aaron Tio Eun Chi. <clears throat> Ahmad Amiru bin Abdubaka. <clears throat> Andy Yohan Lee. Arthur Sam Y. Kitt. <clears throat> Ashley Xia. <clears throat> Ng Shen Chai. Yong Chen, Wang Li Chen, Jerome Tay Hao Ming. Joel Kim Hui Yi. <clears throat> Li Ling Shi. <clears throat> Lim Chen Zi Sean. Melvin Tan Jin Hong. <clears throat> Muhammad Safik bin Jaffa. <clears throat> Muhammad Najib bin Zawawi. Nasiruddin bin Abdul Rahim. <clears throat> Natasha binti Muhammad Hadir. <clears throat> no Samin binti Muhammad Yusuf. Ong Shin Chi. <clears throat> Ryan Hao Hon Yun. <clears throat> Shamela Bibi Binti Raman Shah. Sean Pang Jin Jie. <clears throat> Song Jia Wei. <clears throat> Sam
Syed Muhammad Hafiz. Tan Chun Heng. Tan Chong Han. K. Muhammad Rudi Irawan. To Chin Hao. This concludes the presentation of graduates from the Bachelor of Engineering in SIE Land. Thank you, Professor Tan. Ladies and gentlemen, the awards presented today have all been made possible through the generosity of SIT donors. To our donors, thank you for your thoughtful philanthropy. Your support has encouraged and inspired our students and graduates to continue to seek excellence wherever they go. The valedictorian for this ceremony is Mr. Muhammad Fadil bin Muhammad Said. Muhammad Fadil will now deliver the valedictorian speech. Testing. Okay. Mr. Neil Kian Hong, Group Chief Executive Officer, SMRT Corporation, Prof. Tan Tiam Soon, President, SIT. Distinguished guests, family and friends, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fadil and I'm from the Master of Science in Electrical and Electronic Engineering program. Before I commence my speech, I'd like to thank my family, especially my mom and dad. Should you give a little wave, mom and dad? <laughs> okay. I would also like to thank my friends as well as my professors. Without any of you, I would not be where I am today. Thank you, because without your help, I would not have been given this chance to represent the class with a lengthy speech comprised of highly personal anecdotes, a chance I now plan to take full advantage of. I stand you before today, marveling back on the years of our legacy we have all made together as today's session 2021 Valley Victorian. It is an honor today to deliver the commencement address for this student body. When we were students, we juggled a lot on our plates. We juggle our studies, our work, and our personal relationships with friends and families. More importantly, we work hard towards the, great, towards the promise of a great future while having great expectations of ourselves. And sometimes, we are disappointed when we did not meet our own expectations. I'm sure many of us have been in times of burnout, losing motivation to the point where we were worried whether we could complete our program. What more, with the pandemic, we were unable to attend physical classes and had to adapt to online classes. However, we have made it through, and this period will be remembered for the lessons he has taught us, to be resilient and steadfast in overcoming whatever obstacles that may stand in our way, whether it be in school, at work, or in our future endeavours. Our normal life was disrupted, and we had to get to use to the new normal. The pandemic reminded us to be grateful for what we have and not take anything for granted. We are learning to appreciate things for its luxuries and its routines. Thank you for creating a social distance and in that distance that we grew closer than ever. In spite of all that we have went through, my fellow graduates and friends, look at where we are now. Look at where we started. We have made it together. You made it here to the last act. It is indeed a well-deserved graduation and celebration for all of us. So now that we have achieved this milestone in our lives, it is time for us to look ahead and put what we've learned 
in the past few years into our future careers. Remember to never stop learning and keep working hard at overcoming the obstacles that may come your way. And a few years down the road, we can all look back at these years together, talk about all our accomplishments, and laugh about the stuff we had done while we were in SIT. As we proudly leave this place, remember the dark moments that had shaped us from the ground up, the good times we are grateful for, and the person we become because of them. Just know that when we received the certificates earlier on, we have all earned it. The only thing left to say now is, congratulations to the class of 2021, to those who helped us get here, you know who you are. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you. Thank you, Mohammed Fadil. Dear graduates, as we come to the end of today's ceremony, we extend our congratulations to you and warmly welcome you to the SIT alumni family. Once a citizen, always a citizen. Congratulations, class of 2021. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem and ceremonial recession. <laughs>